Day one, cross country drive in the Porsche 911 that is now Safari. It's pretty sweet and I'm excited. Today, we're in Asheville, North Carolina. That's where we're gonna start our drive. We're hopefully gonna end in Nashville if everything goes right. I have no idea. You'll know by the end of this video if it all went right. So we're gonna go meet up with a pretty sweet group of cars that's gonna come with us all the way across the country. Let's go check out what they got. Part of the car was making weird sounds already, so great start. But luckily, uh, we know it's our power steering pump. It kind of runs dry pretty often. It probably leaks. So we did bring some extra power steering fluid with us. Although I'll have to be pretty careful poor here. Oh yeah. Got it now. Let's just see where we're at with that. All right, well, right, we'll this rain. let's go see if that's enough. Uh, I think it might be, but we might need to add some more. Luckily, we still have quite a bit. A couple cars need to get inspected before we leave, so here are two of the cars that are coming with us. We've got this beautiful manual swapped. That's what you want to see. Ferrari, oh. And then we've got, of course, Jaguar F-Type. Not a bad car for a cross-country road trip. I'm sure that'll be substantially more comfortable. Although our ride has increased quite substantially. Bumps do not harm us anymore. So we gotta meet up with the other guys, but first, like I said, some cars need to get inspected before we go on Tail of the Dragon. So, spoilers, but we are headed there. The other cars have arrived. We got the Range Rover, and of course, the Catrum. What's up, man? Hey, can't believe that. Where should we put this? This um, car is coming. We're, we're about to leave to get across the country. Yeah, it's surprising oh, that this car is coming across the country. That's, crazy. <laughs> that's almost crazier than this Smile. thing. Actually, it is crazier than this thing. I would definitely say it's crazier than this thing. Smile. Two car solution. <laughs> so this is our five car convoy that we got going on. It should be fun. It's quite an eclectic group of cars. Let's get this going. We're gonna hit, uh, hit up some breakfast while these cars get checked out. Just make sure they're good to go. And uh, we'll be on the road, but that's the convoy. It'll be fun, an eclectic group. I'm excited. Let's do this thing. Let's see if we make it somehow. <laughs> Taking a little ride in the Ferrari. Uh, we're almost out of here. Just finished breakfast. That sounds awesome. All right, at the shop, picking up the other cars, and then we're out of here. So, looks like, I think they're both done. And we're off. We are off, we've got all the cars ready to go. I guess this is really the official start of the cross country drive. This is, yes. This morning we were just prepping, but. We're we on route. Let's see how the Safari 911 does. So we're currently on a back road on our way to Tail of the Dragon or Deal's Gap. I'm, I'm not quite sure which one is which. We're gonna let the Ferrari pass. <laughs> that sounds good. That'll be really good at Tail of the Dragon. We have a little while to go, about 86 miles on roads like this, so it'll take around two hours-ish. I'm excited. This is cool. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on this lovely trip. I think you're gonna like it. Will is going in the Range Rover, as you can see. We've got the Catrum being filled up. That takes a while, it's a process, and I am now all alone in the 911, but we're just switching off, driving some cars. This should be fun. We're close to the tail of the dragon now. I'm just trying to keep up with Will. Will's keeping up with a Ferrari. Due to this natural element when he's in a Range Rover. We got the, uh, the Jag on our side. I am going far too quickly in this thing. This road is amazing. We're not even at the tail of the Dragon yet. And the driving here is absolutely phenomenal. I, I almost wish the car wasn't lifted for this, but we'll find something to do with it, I'm sure. But that Catrum flies on these roads. I'm just trying to keep up with everybody. I dodged a bullet there, but not by much. Maybe he's gonna pull me over too. I shouldn't speak too soon. Oh, wait. They left one of you. He's coming for one of you guys. Yeah, he might pull over the whole group. Well, I was able to escape because I slowed down substantially. I don't know what's going on exactly. I don't want to stop too close to where he is because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> oh Jesus, this is this is great. A great start. Meanwhile. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh let's see what let's see what happens. Um not not ideal. Oh 
I'm sorry, I got your driver's license yes, registration sir. with you. Of course. Uh, this is actually his car, but I believe the registration's somewhere in here. I'm his sorry. Rob? Yeah. It's okay. I'm just, uh... Go ahead and take. Um, I don't know. I think we're just, we're driving all the way across the country, so we're going to California, gotcha. but I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Um... It's gotta be somewhere here. Let me get my license first, sorry. It's gotta be in here somewhere, I'm sorry. <laughs> I literally just stopped in this thing. Ugh. I'm not driving my car, and uh, I don't know where the registration is in this thing, which is awkward. Um, yeah. The guy seems pretty nice, but yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, we got the Catrum and me. We made it out. We're gonna go to the tail and wait for them, because it's only 30 minutes away. We don't want these cops to come, come after us now if we're just sitting here waiting for them. So, let's get on the road, and hopefully these boys didn't get a bad speeding ticket. I was going a lot slower, still faster than I probably should have been. Uh, lessons of registration. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> side face. So, everybody's four days the same. You get a flavor, I can call me Of course. Yeah, you got the radio, still. So, and, 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 I want another ticket, slow down. Uh, <laughs> Of that. We turned around because we got away from these guys. We're having a far better time than the guys who got pulled over. But there's a Miata me. And this beautiful. Look at that. It's picturesque. Now I can definitely say we're having a better time than those guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to film while operating this vehicle. This is, oh my God, traction control just kicked in. This is not a sports car. <laughs> I'm going the speed limit right now. But. We are carving up in the big range. Woohoo! Let's go! I'm trying to keep up with a Ferrari who's not obviously pushing it very hard because we just got pulled over, but I can actually have a little bit of fun in this thing because it's slow and heavy. But golly! Does it have a lot of horsepower? And sounds pretty good too. Oh baby! <laughs> This is uh, one of the more unique. Yeah. Yeah, if you came here, Ryan, by the way, Jackson ditched us. And the Catrum as well. We've been driving for like 20 minutes now, and we haven't found them because they just decided that they didn't want to wait for us. So that was really nice of them. Um, but yeah, I know the audio is going to be bad right now. I don't have my good mic on, but I uh, figured I'd keep you guys posted. Enjoying the roads as much as I can in this big beast. I did own one of these, by the way. If you guys did not know that, I used to drive one of these every single day. Lovely vehicle, and uh, yeah, I missed it a little bit. Enjoying ourselves with the Miata me. Bro. I'm sure you had a very different experience. We got tickets. <laughs> How much? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Check it. Oh, 79? Yeah. Oh, that's not even fast. It's not bad, but it was like a 55, which isn't great. Will's finally back with us. Yes. Hey guys, Will. we had a little issue. Um, <laughs> I was driving the big Range Rover, trying to keep up with the Ferrari, which it was doing. It does, this and doesn't. Yeah. Luckily, I was lucky. Yeah, I was I was driving the speed limit in the Range Rover. For some reason, we got pulled over, but you were just going so slow, as it turns out. But uh, we found a big Miatomy, which is uh, absolutely hilarious. We're driving up the road. Every car that drives by, Miata, Miata, Miata. I was I, I thought I was having a stroke. Tail of the dragon, <laughs> like, really must just be Miata Central, but there's actually a Miata thing going on. Oh, they're all about to pull out. But, uh, all right, bye, Miatas. Um, Look at that yeah. one. Barbie Miata. Got pulled over. Not the best, um, but we're good. All things considered, it wasn't the end of the world, but now we're back together. Uh, we're close to the start of the Tail of the Dragon, although the road before it is was insane. insane. I'm trying I to hit film. some opposite bank. I'm trying to film while driving this, and it's like <laughs> <laughs>
the dragon this is like kind of the center where there's a lot of action happening you got a ton of motorcycles everybody wants to enjoy this road you got a ton of cars we're gonna stop get some food here um you got the classic tail of the dragon statue behind you and uh, the parking was just easier to just throw this thing here there wasn't a lot of parking left so that's one of its new bonuses that's a big bonus park wherever you it might not be good feel the tires on that thing it's so hot from what from just forcing it just driving it's that's just funny. warm i tried to slide it i've never been here before this is very cool i'm glad i to see get to why go. people like it it's not yeah. just a road no it's not just a road it's like a whole culture around the road this is very cool either jackson's a really slow driver or this range rover is the fastest car in the world because I'm keeping up with him on the tail while filming, which probably isn't a good idea. I'm gonna stop filming, but this is so much fun. I wish I could show you guys more, but yeah, this is a sick road. We still got a lot of driving to do after this, but right now I'm gonna try to keep up with the guys in this giant Range Rover. I know I already got pulled over today, but whatever. That's part of life, I suppose. So, Tail of the Dragon, we're finishing off the last section here, and it could not be cooler. This is such a cool road. It's just turn after turn, and also in this car, by the way, Will hasn't stepped in here yet. Second gear is all you got, because if you don't want a downshift in the first in the corner, it's a little too low, and by the time you get to the next corner, you're at the top of second anyway, so there's no reason to upshift. No, I don't have to shift, this is an automatic right now. Oh, <laughs> dude, it feels pretty decent, the suspension, actually. The suspension is banging, bro. The tires aren't great for this. Yeah, but the suspension. But the suspension is, it... oh yeah, bro. Oh my God, it's so planted, actually. Flat out, you did a really good job. And Mike, but wow. I mean, it can do this. It's crazy. We should get the pictures. If you guys don't know about the Tale of the Dragon, they have a lot of photographers on like a ton of corners. Just people come up here, set out tents all day, and then they'll sell you pictures of your car that they it's take. Business. It's super cool. I uh, cool. I definitely think we should get some of the pictures it's, because- they're like under 20 bucks, I'm in. <laughs> we gotta save some money, because I got a ticket today. <laughs> yeah, we gotta pay for Will's ticket. Yeah, it's a business expense. Buy some merch, please. <laughs> buy, the, I, buy the need money for Porsche shirt, it's cool. You'll love it, it's a great piece. And Look at this guy, this is the filmer. You! Filming the filmer. Yeah, this road is awesome. It's the kind of, it's, okay, by the way, this is a massive stress test for the uh, roof rails that were sketchily put on. And everything else, to be honest. This is the stress test. Mike, so far it's working. <laughs> In case you're watching, Mike, your craftsmanship is divine. Wow, that big dig out of there. Yeah, wow. I think there's something wrong with the Catrim. Um, can't do it. Uh, what are the boys talking about? Why do they need a jack? Something's wrong with the Catrim. It sounds like a wheel bearing. Turn. Is that what he said? I got okay, it. I could hear it. When in this road is actually the most vibrating road in the world. <laughs> All right, next parking lot we can stop at. We'll stop. It's funny because we can stop at any parking lot, but they have to make sure they clear their lips. Yeah, we got the we got the make anywhere your parking lot. Come. I heard a noise when you were talking on the radio. We're on the side of the tail of the dragon right now. If you guys couldn't tell, and well, oh. yeah, oh. we're having Catrim problems. So uh, there's no phone service here. It's about 95 degrees. Everyone's dying and sweating. We have tools, but we don't really know what to do with them. And uh, yeah, I guess this is just a, a byproduct of having a car that's uh, that's uh, this interesting. Um, but yeah, we don't really know what we're gonna do. So um, I suppose we're just gonna wait around for a second and figure it out. Unfortunately, this is not an episode of Top Gear, so. We can't leave a man behind. We do not leave a man behind. <laughs> We're uh, no man left behind. No man left behind policy here. So uh, let's go get this Catrim fixed. Let's find some shade so we don't all die of heat exhaustion. And uh, AC okay. is feeling less and less strong as the time goes on. That's a uh, not good. Look out for the body. The broken Catrim is limping its way to some shade. Sit right. We think the Cater might actually be drivable. He said it's feeling a little bit better now that we're off a really bumpy road. So Could I think we're gonna try to limp it. 
We'll try to limp it. We need to make it to Nashville tonight. Um, and if we have too much go wrong, the problem is we, we, we played around a little too long. Yeah. Uh, we also have the pullover situation, so we're a little bit behind schedule, which is fine, but we don't want to have too many more issues happen, hopefully. So hopefully the cage room's good. We will find out uh, shortly, I'm sure, if something is wrong. Yeah, we'll know uh, if we see it on the side of the road, because it might be, but I think I think we're gonna be able to limit to Nashville. So uh, I guess let's just keep driving and pray.